Horatio Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into enough. traps. Liston's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Halfway through round number one. Liston's left now getting into the mix. Final 10 seconds of round number one. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Muhammad Ali with the hook. Liston's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Ali's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Both these guys, obviously, hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? Hey, you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medications in that corner. Avatine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And then you put those medicines in it. And then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. No! Liston's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive win. You know, he, he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. Listen. are on him to start this round. Liston's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. 
See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Keep working, bud. Good work. Ali's tagged by a hook. seconds to go here in this round. That's a solid right hand by Muhammad Ali. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Comes across with a hook up top. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Ali's putting together punch stats tonight that go right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, Throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter. And the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Count down the final moments of this round. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Three minutes gone by in this round. Good job in that round. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up on your punches. I want to see some combo. Well, let's look at Teddy's scorecard through three rounds. A hammering hook by Muhammad Ali. Liston's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And the old one-two by Muhammad Ali. Let's see some more head movement. in on that overhand right. Ali's employing a strategy that works really well for him. He's staying outside, he's utilizing that jab, and he's scoring when he can. Yeah, he's recognizing the deficiencies of his opponent. He's got a slow, plodding guy in front of him who's a little flat-footed, and he's doing, as you said, exactly what he should be doing. Blow the left hand by Muhammad Ali. And he returns on that exchange. There it is! Late going here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashballs going off in his head. Oh, that's good stuff. Wow. He gets floored with one single shot. He was just torn down like an old building. This fight is over.
by knockouts. Your winners, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Muhammad Ali is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's gonna be easy to sell now to television. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.